Okay, so I finally made it to Serbia. It was a journey. I had a missed flight. I had to lose a day in Serbia, but I'm finally here with Kathy. Yay, Kathy! From Darling Traveler. And then her husband, George, of course, who's been helping out, navigating everything. Thank you, George, and carrying my suitcase and all that. Very, very thoughtful husband here. And also, Kathy is pregnant right now. Can't really see her from here, but she has a cute little belly. Our plan is to explore Nova Sad a little bit. So we're in Nova Sad right now. And then tomorrow we're gonna go probably explore a little bit other towns. Uh, if it's not raining, because the forecast says there's some rain sometimes. Then we'll go to Belgrade, stay there for a couple days. And then we're moving on to some other countries. But for now, it's all about Serbia and learning about Serbia. And we're at this beautiful restaurant called Petrus. And I ordered some traditional Serbian food, which I can't pronounce already. I already forgot. <laughs> what was it called, George? Pes what? Yes, Gavica. So ordered that. Really excited to try my first Serbian traditional food in this beautiful restaurant. Oh my God, that's a lot of meat. You can order like five to ten. And this is kaima. Kaima? And this is urnavis. So it's kind of like butter? So it, no, it's different than butter, so you gotta try it. Okay, just, all right. Just try it. I will that. definitely try that. Yeah. And then what did you get, just regular pasta? Just regular, regular pasta. pasta. Yeah. I already forgot the name, so I'm gonna have to write that down later. Don't worry about it. You should me. eat it with a hand. Like it's chip. Oh, that's like how you eat, okay. You're like, screw the pork. You don't need that. again so I guess better head back. Okay we're at Covenant. They have nice pictures here, <laughs> but everything's in Serbian, so I have to ask my friend what it says. Actually, there is English. I just missed it because it's so small. I love their juice. It's like frothy. Thank you. Or voila. And you? Yeah. Voila. Voila. Goat cheese with scrambled eggs. Kathy got avocado and eggs. And then I got, this is like toast cheese, egg, and prosciutto, I believe. <sighs> All right, so it's already day two in Serbia. And I'm already kind of off my game because I didn't really get a good night's sleep last night. Um, didn't really get to check out Novi Sad because of the rain. And I woke up late this morning because I thought it was going to be raining anyway. So we'll have to move on to another town today. But just real quick, this is the lovely apartment that I stayed in. I booked it on booking.com and it was so cheap. And it's like right next to um, the restaurants and shopping and all that. So it's a great location, really nice place where you get like a little kitchenette here a little even like this little stove there the bathroom was really nice over here everything was great here i did enjoy it the only thing is they didn't have any uh, shampoo or conditioner but you know little minor things i don't mind that because it was so cheap here but yeah that was just a super quick overview i have to get going because they're waiting for me uh, we're gonna go move on to another town now So we've made it to Sivatica. It's we're on the border, or close to the border of Hungary and uh, Serbia. It was like an hour drive from Novi Sad. So not bad, we just, it was like mostly the highway, which you pay a toll. How much is a toll anyway? 
It was like two bucks, three bucks. Two bucks. Okay, that's not bad. So I read online that it's one of the most beautiful cities in Serbia. We're looking for the city center right now. So apparently everywhere in Serbia they have competitions on grass cutting and that's why they have this statue representing that. Really interesting. <laughs> So we're done with Sobotica. We spent like, what, maybe an hour, hour and a half here, something like that. Just kind of walked around, made a big loop, looked at all the beautiful architecture. It is very beautiful here. The trees lining the streets are very nice. Um, it's very quaint. It's actually really quiet today too, because it's a Sunday. Apparently in Serbia, most of the shops are closed on Sundays because uh, it's just a time to relax day. But there are some shops open, um, but most of them are closed today on a Sunday. Just to know if you're coming to Serbia, unless you're like in a bigger city, um, most of the places will be closed. But it was a very nice town. I really enjoyed it. We enjoyed our quaint walk around, looked at all the beautiful architecture. And then now we're on our way to Sombor, which is another hour away, right? Yeah, another hour away. So checking out another town in Serbia. Now we're in Somber. Uh, it's very quiet, but it's a very pretty town. And uh, we're just gonna walk around here a little bit and see what's open. One, because there's not much open again because it's Sunday. Uh, but two, just to see, you know, another side of Serbia. a little place in Sombor called Buddha Bar. Wasn't expecting this upstairs. It's actually quite nice. <laughs> I love how they decorated the place. But um, I think we're gonna get pizza here. <laughs> this is all drinks, like liquor. just checked into our apartment in Belgrade and it is amazing here. It is so beautifully done. I am just impressed. It's almost like we're in an apartment in Manhattan or something. Uh, the decoration itself is just fantastic. The wooden floors is uh, original and uh, the tiling is done nice. Uh, there's two bedrooms here and then a living room, a kitchen and a bathroom. We have lots of great views. There's a little balcony in the other room. I mean, it's so, so nice. Um, so this is the room that I'm gonna stay in. This is the first bedroom. So this is the first bedroom here. And there's a view out here. And then over here is the kitchen. And this is the second bedroom over here. And there's a balcony out there. Yeah, just lovely. Good morning, it's a new day in Belgrade, Serbia, and today we're gonna do some more exploring of Belgrade because we actually got here 
in the evening so we didn't really check out too much we just went out to like the main area where there's like a shopping mall and I checked out a little bit of the outskirts of the forest I mean that's forest the fortress and then there's like a great overlook where you could see the downtown area it's called like the Belgrade waterfront they have like this new skyscraper with all these like LED lights on it with the like, displaying ads so that was actually pretty neat it kind of reminded me of like all the buildings in Tokyo that you see in like Shibuya or Akihabara where they have like you know ads displaying on their skyscrapers we got to dinner at an Asian restaurant it was actually really good it's, it wasn't like truly authentic Asian but they had good flavors and I actually enjoyed it and then after that we went to uh, this street a really lively street that had uh, all these restaurants and live music and the live music was traditional Serbian music um, so that was awesome to hear <laughs> And then we got some late night snacks and called it a night. So I actually slept really good last night. Uh, I think I got about seven to eight hours of sleep, which is super unusual for me. I only get like maybe five to six hours of sleep usually because my dog wakes me up at 4 a.m. every morning. So I actually got to sleep in today till 8.30 and I just felt like, oh my God, I can't believe I got this much sleep. I have not, I literally have not slept that much in a long, long time. So got all my energy back, I think, and I'm ready to go. And we're gonna go get some breakfast first, then um, head to the fortress, and then we'll see what the rest of the day looks like after that. It says phyllo pastry filled with mashed potatoes. Yeah. Pita Kampirosha? Com How do you say that? Uh, Kampirosha. But we're going to try all of these. Um, there's like mashed potatoes, cheese, spinach and cheese. And George is ordering it for us because he's local. He knows what he's doing. And then they order it by the pound over there. So you eat it with yogurt? Yes. This is with cheese. Okay. Oh, so they're all different ones that we have, right? Yes. Okay. And we'll all share. Yeah. Show us how it's done. You shake the yogurt. Okay. And that's it. And then, and then that's it. <laughs> and then, then you, you eat. You eat this and you drink you, the yogurt. You drink the yogurt? Yes. Yeah. What? <laughs> and then you take a sip. Take a sip, yeah. Interesting. Okay. That's it. All right. Taking a little break here at this uh, cafe. Uh, super small in there, so we're sitting outside here. And they brought us a little little chair to put our drinks. It's very nice. Uh, but we walked around the fortress, and actually, it's Monday today, so all the exhibits and stuff were closed. Mondays, museums and exhibits are closed in Serbia. Just to know. So Sundays, everybody takes off, like all the shops and stuff, and Mondays, all the museums and exhibits close. So today, we're walking around, um, we just walked around like, you know, downtown Belgrade area, or like the city center area, and then we saw buildings where NATO bombed in 1999. That was very impactful sight to see. And now we're walking to a church, biggest Orthodox church. Yeah, okay. region. In the Balkan region. But yeah, we were getting tired. <laughs> it's a long walk. We walked for about, what, 40 minutes or so. So now we're taking a little break before we move on. We're only like eight more minutes away. So getting a nice cold pressed juice, getting refueled, 
and walking on to more sites. Today is my last day in Serbia and I'm kind of sad to go today because I lost a day and then I kind of lost another day because it was, rain it was raining a lot the next day. So what I got to check out in Serbia was beautiful. I did love all the towns we stopped by. Novi Sad and Sabacica and uh, Samber were all beautiful cities uh, in their own way. And Belgrade, you know, I think I enjoy the most because I got to stay here the longest. So I got to enjoy it a little bit more and see more sites. But again, they were all very lovely places. And thank you, Kathy and George, for hosting me and showing me around like the best places to check out around here. I really enjoyed it. Um, loved all the food that you introduced me to. Uh, I liked the, uh, the pita with the ground beef. That was probably my favorite here. But I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you don't watch more of our videos, please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Bye.